Today we're going to talk a little bit about a puppy training guide and some some things that every puppy should learn. You're going to learn, you'll discover everything that I expect all of my puppies to learn and so should you. Puppies are like a sponge. They absorb everything. It's, they're like kids when they're, you know, young. It's in these early days that we should be teaching them everything. Well, I shouldn't say everything because puppies are, their attention span can be short and that, but we need to get a firm basis in the, in, in the basic commands. I'm not going to delve deeply into every subject in this video. It, it, rather, it's my goal to give you an outline on what you should be teaching your puppy. Uh, for more in-depth articles, you can visit the blog at thenaturaldogtrainer.com. You'll find articles, videos, and free giveaways. Puppy Training Minimum Guide Expectations it's our responsibility as owners to teach our puppies the basics of acceptable behavior. You've got to give them a strong base, which you can work together to build a loyal, dependable member of your pack. First things first, crate. Uh, crate training, I put it number one because that's where if you start a dog day one learning to eat and sleep and his crate associated with safety in his home within your home, you're going to have it a whole lot easier as you train other things. Second thing is good elimination habits. You got to start teaching your puppy right from day one, the be right from the beginning, where you expect him to go. And here's a little rule to follow. Puppies can't hold it like big dogs, and they're not going to be able to hold it till they're about three months old. So take your puppy out based on this formula. Number of months old times one hour is how often he needs to go out. Example, three months, three hours four months, four hours, etc., up till about eight months. Well, after that, he should be okay through the night. Um, you need to teach location along with word association. So your dog, need, you know, as he grows up, he, he has good hygiene, few accidents, and when you take him outside and use your command word, or, or not really your command word, your word that you've associated with elimination, he knows what you want. Uh, respect. you got to teach respect to a puppy. A puppy that nips and bites can be cute but it's got to be stopped quickly. After, your pup, after all, your puppy's not going to be little forever. And I'm going to bet you don't want your 80 pound adult dog mouthing people. No jumping. If you spend time training your puppy now that jumping on people for attention isn't cute and it doesn't get the re desired result, you're not going to have them doing it later. Another important one is drop it. You need to teach, basically you're teaching the subject to property. You need to teach your dog to understand that they need to release a toy or even food with a single word. Start early. Be consistent. Come when you call. If your dog, if you call and your dog does not respond, it's not because he doesn't want to. It's because you haven't taught him to. That's a really important step. Your dog's got to be able to stop whatever he's doing. I don't care what it is. He's got to stop and come to you when, you, when he hears you call his name. Human contact and socialization. Your pet needs to learn to accept human contact. There's going to be a lot of human contact throughout every dog's life. Vet visits, ear cleaning, medical treatments, bathing, grooming, and that kind of stuff. Teach him to accept it while well he's a puppy and you'll never be sorry. Chasing is another thing. That's dangerous, not only for, for your puppy, but for other people. Um, stop them from chasing. Don't let them chase people as a puppy and you won't have problems when they go older, grow older. You need to learn, your puppy needs to learn that there's not to chase anything other than a thrown toy including dogs, cats, children, bicycles, elderly grandparents, you name it. No pulling. No better time to start teaching your dog where his place, to be in his place when you're walking. Your dog should never lead you. Basic commands. Sits down, stay, and heal are the basic commands of teach, uh, teaching all the advanced commands. you got to understand these commands before you can move on. 